Hello. In this video, we're going to do a quick review of first order low pass RC filters. A uh, first order low pass RC filter consists of a resistor in series with a capacitor. where my uh, input signal is applied to one uh, terminal of the resistor, my output signal V out is taken across the capacitor. Next, I'm going to come up with a transfer function uh, for this circuit. The transfer function is simply the ratio of the output to the input as a function of frequency. So it's basically an expression for the voltage gain in this case, V out over V in, as a function of the frequency J omega. Uh, before I uh, continue with the circuit analysis, I'm going to write down the impedances for my components. The impedance for a resistor is simply the resistance. The impedance for my capacitor will be equal to 1 over j omega times the capacitance. So now I can go ahead and uh, perform my analysis by noting that V out is simply the result of a voltage division, dividing the voltage V in um, across the impedance R and the impedance of the capacitor. And so I can write my voltage divider equation, V out equals to V in times 1 over J omega C divided by R plus 1 over J omega C. My uh, voltage gain as a function of J omega is simply the ratio of V out over V in. And it's simply going to be 1 over J omega C divided by R plus 1 over J omega C which I can simplify by multiplying numerator and denominator times j omega c as 1 divided by 1 plus j omega rc. Now I'm going to um, mathematically manipulate this expression to write it in the standard form for a uh, first order low pass filter. So my av as a function of j omega, I can rewrite as follows, 1 divided by 1 plus j omega divided by omega c where omega c is equal to 1 over rc and that's the cutoff frequency for my low pass filter. Sometimes also referred to as the corner frequency. Um, before I continue I'm going to rewrite this expression as a function of f instead of omega. And that's uh, simple to do because omega and f are simply related by a factor of 2 pi. So I can rewrite av of jf as being equal to 1 over 1 plus jf divided by fc. Um, where fc is now... equal to 1 over 2 pi rc. And that's also the kind of frequency uh, expressed in units of hertz as opposed to radians per second. That will be the unit of omega. Uh, next, I'm going to express this uh, complex function, um, AV, in terms of its magnitude response and its phase response. Any complex function we can represent in terms of magnitude and phase. And so that's simply what I'm going to do. Um, so I have AV of JF. I'm going to express it as a magnitude and a phase phi. Now let's go ahead and calculate uh, the magnitude response and the phase response. The magnitude response is going to be the magnitude of that uh, function, 1 over 1 plus J times F divided by F sub C. Uh, since there is a ratio there, uh, the magnitude of the ratio is going to be equal to the magnitude of the numerator divided by the magnitude of the denominator. The magnitude of the numerator, see, the numerator is just a real number, 1, the magnitude is 1. The magnitude of the denominator, the denominator will have a, uh, a complex expression uh, with real part 1 and complex part f divided by f sub c. And so the magnitude is going to be equal to the square root of 1 squared, or 1, plus 
f divided by f sub c squared. So square root of um, real parts uh, squared plus imaginary parts squared. The phase is going to be equal to uh, the phase of the numerator minus the phase of the denominator. Again, since the numerator is simply um, a real number one, its phase is zero. And so it's going to be zero minus, and the phase of the denominator um, is going to be equal to the inverse tangent of the imaginary part divided by the real part, or in this case, minus the inverse tangent of f divided by f sub c. But again, this is the magnitude response. And this is the phase response. Now, typically um, in our analysis, we like to use a graphical representation of the magnitude and the phase response. Um, and we make an approximation in what we call a body plot. So let's go ahead and draw a body plot for this uh, circuit. And a body plot consists of uh, two complementary plots, one for the magnitude response, one for the phase response. And for a simple first-order low-pass filter, we can plot our magnitude as a function of frequency. This is the magnitude, A of V, as a function of frequency. It's going to be approximately constant until we reach the cutoff frequency. F sub C, and then it's going to decrease at an approximate rate of minus, two dB, minus 20 dBs per decade. In all reality, this is just an approximation. Um, the piecewise linear approximation, if we are to look at the actual magnitude response, there isn't a sharp edge at the cutoff frequency. Uh, there is more like a progressive decline there. And the frequency, by definition, the cutoff frequency is the frequency at which the magnitude has decreased by a factor of uh, 3 dB, so the negative 3 dB point. In linear scale, it will just mean that uh, the magnitude at that point is equal to 1 over the square root uh, of 2 times um, the maximum value of the gain. Going to write down the expression for FC, 1 over 2 pi RC. And then, obviously, the, um, the value of the gain at that point, this will just be AB... Uh, maximum, let's say. Now let's take a look at the phase response for a, a simple low-pass filter. And in the body plot, we are also plotting uh, the phase versus frequency. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention about uh, my magnitude response plot is that we're plotting it typically in dBs um, and so there, is, there are logarithmic scales on both axes. Uh, for my phase response, uh, it's going to be start at zero degrees. At approximately one tenth of the cutoff frequency, it's going to start uh, declining or um, having a negative phase shift. At exactly the cutoff frequency, I'm going to have a phase shift of minus 45 degrees. And then it's going to continue to negative 90 degrees. So this is more or less what the phase shift is going to look like. Again, we have done our piecewise linear approximation. The actual 
function will be a little bit smoother than that. Um, and that's it. This is um, the response, the frequency response for a first order RC low pass filter. Thank you.